the Chinook salmon vanish without a trace. Where did they go? What happened to them? Sacramento, California. The Chinook salmon that swim upstream to spawn in the fall. The most robust run in the Sacramento River have disappeared. The almost complete collapse of the richest and most dependable source of Chinook salmon south of Alaska left gloomy fisheries experts struggling for reliable explanations. Whatever the cause, there is widespread agreement among those attending a five-day meeting of the Pacific Fisheries Management Council here last week that the regional $150 million fishery, which usually opens for the four-month season on May 1st, is almost certain to remain closed this year from northern Oregon to the Mexican border. As a result, Chinook are king salmon, the most prized species of Pacific wild salmon, will be very hard to come by, at least until the Alaskan season opens in July. Even then, wild king salmon are likely to be very expensive in markets and restaurants nationwide. It's unprecedented that this fishery is in this kind of bad shape, said Donald McIsaac, executive director of the council, which is organized under the authority of the Commerce Department. Fishermen and scientists think the Sacramento River has been mismanaged and was mismanaged in 2005. When this year's fish first migrated downriver, they say federal and state water managers drained too much water or drained at the wrong time to serve the state's powerful agricultural interest in cities in dry, arid Southern California. Fishermen and scientists think the fish were left susceptible to disease or to predators and they were sucked up into diversion pumps left to die in irrigation canals. They use too much water to water the crops. The federal and state fishery managers and biologists point to the highly unusual ocean conditions in 2005, which may have left the fingerling salmon with little or none of the rich nourishment provided by the normal upwelling currents near the shore. There are a number of factors the disappearance or decline of the salmon. The life cycle of these fall run Chinook salmon takes them from their birth and early weeks in cold river waters to a downstream migration that deposits them in the San Francisco Bay when they are just a few inches long. And then as their bodies adapt to salt water through a migration out into the ocean where they live until they return to spawn, usually three years later. One species of Sacramento salmon, the winter run Chinook, is protected under the Endangered Species Act, but their meager numbers have held steady and appear to be so far unaffected by whatever ails the fall Chinook. So what has happened? After studying changes in the once predictable pattern of the northern Pacific climate, scientists found that in 2005 the currents that rise from the deeper ocean bringing with them nutrients like phytoplankton and krill were way out of sync. Upwelling usually starts in April and goes until September, but in 2005 it didn't start until July. My hypothesis is about the salmon is that the fish that went to sea in 2005 died a few weeks after getting to the ocean because there was basically nothing to eat. But there are probably a number of factors that have contributed to the loss of this season's fish. No, 
this is not good news. Where did all the salmon go? Chinook salmon disappear without a trace. This is another sign of end times, last days, whatever you want to call it. And there are many of them.